Okay, so I got super lucky, and I just found a metal sword as a monster drop, so that is actually really convenient. Um, I don't think I can actually even craft metal swords yet, but apparently you can get them as a drop before you can even craft them. And yeah, that basically doubles my damage output. Alright, we are back at the ruined shop, and this time we have enough resources to make it happen. So, without further ado... Gonna smack it with a hammer a few times, and boom, a shop of pears. A pears. Apparently, I talk weird. And let's go ahead and throw our beans up for 90 a pop. I'm not... I guess that's worth it. Hmm. NPCs will come and buy the item. Will I actually get to see them come buy the item? What is this? Oh, there are people specifically requesting things. Okay. Uh, 3,000 for some cocoa beans. Neat. Go home and sleep. Maybe tomorrow the road will be clear. You know, I got a funny feeling that the road will be clear tomorrow. Oh, so we found another chest and we got a metal hammer from it, which is pretty awesome because I cannot craft those right now. So that was lucky. I'm uh, just doing some grinding while I'm waiting for the... um, Just so I don't waste the rest of today. Alright, day three. My quest is that I have a letter. I wonder if it's going to tell me the road is clear. There's a letter inside the mailbox. Hello, I'm Carol. I'm a mechanic. Are you Carol? Because it looks like you're Mariel. Um, want to explain that one to me? It's so fantastic that the road has been cleared. Called it. Let's meet at the mechanical store at 10 in the morning. I will help you build some machines for the farm. Okay, Cariel. All right, and we're on to the new city where apparently the mechanical store is. Yo, what's up, Cariel? Hey, her name is actually Carol here. All right, what you got for me? Hey, hello there. You are more handsome than I thought. Aw, shucks, I know. Mai has told me about you. Her family used to be regulars at my store. I specialize in designing machines that produce farms materials. That's a very niche specialization. To use the machines, you need to place them inside water turbine or windmill. Then the wind and water will spin the turbine and activate the machines. The farm currently has one water turbine, but it's broken. You can collect materials and repair it. Okay. Okay, the water turbine is apparently as far away from my... Far away from my farm as possible. While still being on my farm. Oh, wow. 50 wood, 80 rocks, 30 metal. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back with the supplies. And this is going to wipe me out of metal. But let's do it. And, oh, wow. Man, the guy works fast. Look at that. Okay, neat. Let's go talk to Cariel. We're back. Hi, have a nice... She talks exactly like Marielle, too. Talking to me like I'm leaving when I say hello. You repaired the water tur... Yeah, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be here. Now try to build a furnace machine. You can find the materials needed to make the furnace machine in the mine. The difficulty is that the elevators are broken and the monsters use the mine as a refuge. You need to go down there and use the hammer to exploit the resources. Remember to be careful with monsters. No, thanks, really. I, I needed that advice because I thought monsters were so friendly from all the times they murdered me. Oh, hello. The mines are flooded with monsters. They were not joking around. I wonder if I can lure them into the spike trap. Mushy, mushy. Come here. Mush, mush. Mushy, mush. Mushy, mush. Follow, follow. Follow, mushy, mush. Uh, he seems to be going around the spike trap. Yeah, they do not seem willing to step on the spike traps at all. Oh? We pushed one on. He didn't seem bothered by it. Yeah, they don't seem bothered by the spike trap. Yeah, they they won't step on it. And if they do step on it, it seems like it does not hit them. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's another trap. So after spending all of yesterday in the mines, we gathered some copper, some metal, and on our way back, we gathered a bunch of apples, which I'm hoping to turn in at the order board we saw earlier and get a bit of money for that. Even though I don't have a whole ton to spend money on right now, I should probably plant some seeds. Hmm. So apparently you don't take it back to the order board, and I think I might have just deleted the quest. I need to find Fiora or something. I don't think I've met a Fiora yet. Maybe she's in here.
Nope. Or at least not yet. Hmm. Oh well, I'm an another mystery for another day. Back to the mines. Okay, I'm currently on level 6 of the caves, and now there are these little bat thingies. And the little bat thingies shoot fireballs occasionally. Yep, right there. And if you dodge the first fireball, you can, ow, run into a trap. And get close to him before he shoots another one, and I'm about to die here. Okay, 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 I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, die. Yeah, the bats are pretty dangerous. And it does not help that there's a bunch of everything else around, too. Um, I'm still gathering supplies for the furnace. The furnace takes a lot of stuff. The biggest thing I'm having trouble finding is sand. Oh, and my sword broke. Awesome. Okay, not what I love to see. So sand is in uh, little piles. Um, I will show you if I can get anywhere close to one. But first I have to survive this. Okay, cool. Got a new sword. So I've actually found a fair amount of clay, which is in little holes like that. However, my big problem is sand, because as far as I can tell, the only way to get sand is from little piles of sand, which I'm going to make my way over to one I saw a minute ago look like this. And I've seen very, very few piles of sand. And they only produce one piece of sand each. So this is going to take a while longer. Day five. Another day in the mines. And I put something in the pot yesterday, and it is there in the morning. Lovely. So, it turns out mushroom skewers are a lot better than just eating plain mushrooms, which seems obvious. Well, maybe not a lot better, because it does take like four of each type of mushroom, so... I guess they're significantly better, though. They're like twice as good for everything. And if you make them regularly, they only take one slot instead of three slots, like I have with my mushrooms down here. Okay, I'm done early with the mines today. Um, I still need to get a little more copper to finish the furnace, but I figured I would take some time to shop. And I'm not sure which of these is best. I know the beans sold for really good money. I think I'll, I'll put together some beans. And those are costing me 30 a pop. So let's, let's go ahead and get 20 of them. And we can start our first actual farming. And let's go look at this shop because I don't actually know what this is. Oh, this is where I started. Who are you? Ellie? What do you sell, Ellie? Um, what? Apparently I'm not allowed to shop at Ellie's place yet. Okay. Uh, so I think that will do it for today. Uh, I just looked outside and realized it's nighttime. So, thank you for joining me. My name's Jeff. Deuces.